American Sign Language Live Showcase 2022. Thank you for joining us tonight. We are your hosts. My name is Claire. My name is Allie. My name is Lori. My name is Devante. And my name is Zing Zing. Tonight, you're going to see ASL students perform songs, poems, and stories. And we have some past ASL students who are with us tonight. We'd like you to stand and be acknowledged tonight. Tonight's performance is going to last about an hour with no intermission. So if you need to use the restrooms, go out, take a left, and the restrooms are near the night. And please, if you do need to leave, 
Go between the acts. Thank you. And if you want to take video or pictures, of course, that's fine. But please, no flash. And of course, remember your cell phones, turn them to silent. Thank you. We have a wonderful performance for you tonight. And to start off, we have a very special silent color guard put on by the Bremerton High School ROTC program. And then the national anthem. So please stand.
Tommy Chuli. Is that what I'm doing? Tommy, Tommy, I'm tall. Bob the Raven. Now I'm all. Stars. Has anybody out there seen this show? Do you like it? Well, we're going to play it tonight, but we're calling it Signing with the Stars. We have three stars, signing stars. Come on out and join us, you guys. Bring out, give you a big wave of a big hand of applause. What's your name? My name's Avery. My name is Morgan. And I'm M. Each of our stars is going to pair up with a member of the audience. Yes, one of you. We are looking for someone who does not know sign language, but would like to learn a little. They're going to teach you how to sign this sentence. Are you ready to have some fun? Who wants to play? Anyone? Come on up. Anyone? Be brave. Come on up. Okay, you, you, come on up. You yes, right there. Me. You. You in that, that shirt right there. Who else? We need three people. One more. Come on over onto the stage near our stars. Pick a star, any star. And what's your name? And how do you spell that? And this is Dominique. <laughs> Yay, Dominique. And, and your what's name? your name? Tammy. This is Tammy. Yay, Tammy. And you are? How do you spell it? Lexa. Yay, for Yay. Lexa. Thank you. OK, so we're going to have to say goodbye to them for now. They're going to be backstage, learning and practicing. Then in a few minutes, you'll come back out and perform. Okay? Have fun and good luck. See you in a few. I'm done. How are you doing? I'm sorry, the reading. It's okay. Not due till next week. Hello. Hello. Hi. What class are you? Junior English. Oh. I'm a freshman. My name is Loki. Hey. I'm Lily. I'm Kyle. Sorry, I gotta go. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Later. What are you reading? All Things Fall Apart. Oh, I like that book. Really? I hate it. You're just getting started. It'll get better. I hope so. I've got to go. Me too. I thought you were there.
welcome back to the performance round of Signing with the Stars. And now, let's give a round of our hand, a round of applause to our three judges. Come on out, judges! Remember, each contestant will be signing this sentence. So first up is Dominique. You can do it, Dominique. Yay! The dog jumped over the red fence. Yay! Judges, a nine. A seven and a nine. So Dominique has a total score of 25 points. Good job, Dominique. And next we have Tammy. The dog jumped over the red fence. Woo! Judges. We have an eight, a six, and a seven. <laughs> While well, we do some quick math in our heads. And with 21 points, or Tammy has 21 points. Yay, good job. And last but not least, Lexa. The dog jumped over the red fence. Yay! Yay good, job, good job! Judges, what do you say, judges? Seven, eight, and a seven all together. Your score is 22 points. Wonderful, good job. And so, with a total score of 25, Dominique is our winner tonight. Congratulations, Dominique. <laughs> Wonderful! Thank you everybody for participating. Beautiful work. ASL storytelling is unique in the way that it uses hand shapes and movement called classifiers to show the pictures of a story. Classifiers are used to establish settings, describe people and things, and to make characters move. We'll show you a game that we play in ASL to learn and practice classifiers. First, describing things with basic shapes. Pick a card, any card. A cube. A cylinder.
and now animals. classifier stories performed by ASL 1 students. In a grassy field, there are two women. I'm Viper. I have short black hair. My mask is black and gold. I'm wearing a skin-tight black suit with green down the middle. My thigh-high boots are black leather. My name is Neon. My hair is blue and yellow and long pigtails. And I'm wearing a purple skin-tight suit with a blue vest with gold metal plates. My gloves are black and my leggings are blue with yellow stripes at the bottom. My tennis shoes are blue. Over there is an army. They are coming for us. We need to fight. I have a spike. It's a bomb. I run towards the army and use my poisonous smoke, half of them fall. The rest keep coming towards us. I run to plant the spike. Then we both run away to escape the explosion. In a park, there's a tree. Next to the tree is a playground that has a sandbox, a slide, and a swing set. <coughs> On the swing is a little girl. She's eight years old, and she has pink and orange pigtails. She's wearing a green tank top and black shorts. Her shoes are red high tops. As she's swinging, a monarch butterfly comes flitting by her nose. She jumps off the swing and chases the butterfly. Now over there is a green field of clover with white flowers. As the little girl steps into the field of clover, suddenly a swarm of butterflies rise up and swarm around her. And then they fly off into the distance. It looked extremely rocky for the Mudville Mine that day. The score was two to four, with but an inning left to play. So when Cooney died at second and Burroughs did the same, a sickly pallor made the patrons of the game. A straggling few got up to go, leaving there the rest with the hope which springs eternal within the human breast. For they thought, if only Casey could get through a whack at that. They, they bet you your money now with Casey at the bat. But 
Flynn, proceeded Casey, and likewise so did Blake. And the former was a puddin' and the latter was a fake. So upon that stricken multitude a death-like silence sat. For there seemed but little chance of Casey's getting to the bath. But Flynn let fly a single to the wonderment of all, and the much despised Blakey tore the cover off the ball. And when the dust had lifted and they saw what had occurred, there was Blakey safe at second, and Flynn a hugging third. Then from that gladdened multitude went up a joyous yell. It rumbled in the valley, it rattled in the dell, and struck upon the hillsides and resounded in the flat. For Casey, mighty Casey, was advancing to the bat. There was ease in Casey's manner as he stepped into his place. There was pride and a smile in Casey's face. And when, responding to the cheers, he lightly doffed his cap, no stranger in the crowd could doubt twas Casey at the back. Ten thousand eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands with dirt. Five thousand tongues applauded when he wiped them on his shirt. And when the writhing pitcher ground the ball into his hip, a sneer curled Casey's lip. And now the leather covered spear comes hurtling through the air. Close by the sturdy batsman, the ball unheeded sped. That ain't my style, said Casey. Strike one, the umpire said. From the benches black with people, there went up a muffled roar. Kill him, kill the umpire, someone shouted from the stand. And it's a likely day to kill them had not Casey raised his hands. He signaled, he, he signaled to the pitcher, he made the game go on. Once more the spirit flew. But Casey still ignored it. And the umpire said, strike two. Frog, cried the mad thousands, and the echo answered frog. But one scornful look from Casey, and the audience was awed. They saw his face grow stern and cold. They knew that Casey wouldn't let the ball go by again. His teeth are clenched in hate. He pounds with cruel vengeance his bat upon the plate. And now the pitcher holds the ball. And now he lets it go. And now the air is shattered with the force of Casey's blow. Oh, somewhere in this favored land, the sun is shining bright. The band is playing somewhere, and somewhere hearts are light. Somewhere men are laughing and somewhere children shout. But there is no joy in Mudville. Mighty Casey has struck out. We live here on this planet called Earth. Think about that. E A R T H. Ear. Here, so much is based on sounds. There's an idea out there that maybe there's a planet called I. E Y E T H. There, everything is visual. But deaf people here on Earth use accommodations. Here's an example waking up in the morning. You're late. What happened? When my alarm went off, I hit this news button. Too many times. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you? When my flashing light alarm went off, I pulled down my eye mask and went back to sleep. All right, go on. Oh, what happened to you? When my vibrating alarm went off, it shook my bed so hard I fell out and look what happened. Yikes, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Another accommodation is captioning at the movies. Hi. Hi, what's up? Last night, I was watching movies on Netflix. That looked like it would be good. But it was in German, so it was open captioned. Oh, I hate captions. What a pain. 
Really? Really? You had to read the captions? Poor you. What happened to you? Last night, I went to the movies. Three whole hours wearing those heavy captioning goggles. Oh. Oh, I know. Poor you. not really see you today. So let's start with attendance. Ati? Here. Okay, Alex? 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 Uh, Becca? 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 Anyone? 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 Okay, thanks Alex. So Becca, are you here? Becca? Here. Hi Becca. How about Emily? Emily? Um, who are you? Okay, hi Emily's sister. David. David? David? That's my dog, Miss Papa. He's a good boy. Oh, yeah, he's cute, David. All right, Lauren. Lauren, um, your mic. Your mic, Lauren. Okay, Morgan? Um, Morgan, your light. You need to fix your light, Morgan. Okay, that's better. Thank you. Cassie. Cassie? Um, Cassie? Hmm, Cassie. Well, um, how about MJ? MJ? Oh, okay, MJ, thanks for letting me know. You'll need to contact tech support. In chat, Isaac says, Hey, Morgan, did you have a good Hey, Zach. In the chat, Isaac said, And who's Bugs? Okay, Bailey, I mean Bugs. Okay. And how about Emily? Hi, Emily. Okay, let's start. Who's ready to perform your family story? Anyone? Your family story. 
Who's ready to perform? Okay, Auntie, go ahead. Good job, buddy. That looked great. Who's next? Anyone? 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 Well, I guess our time's up. See you, well, not see you next time. Bye bye, everybody. See, really see you today. So let's go ahead. We're ready to go on already. So who's ready to perform your poem? I am. I have a dream. Yay, good job, buddy. Who's next? Oh, yes. Yay, we're back.
tonight's performance a true success. So this beautiful auditorium, all of the lights, all of the sounds, they're all controlled by our Mr. Vogt. He's back there. He's done, yay, this, give him a hand. He supports us, he helps us so much. We really appreciate all that he does for us. Thank you, Mr. Vogt. We also want to add a thank you to our hardworking stage manager, Lauren, and the stage entire crew. Let's bring them out so we can say thank you to them. We'd like to thank the graphic design department from Bremerton High School. They helped us make our poster. And we'd like to thank the video production program 
They're back there videotaping us tonight. We can't wait to see it. And we want to thank National Honor Society for their volunteers, the help they've given us tonight. We want to thank our beloved librarian, Ms. McLean. We want to thank her for being such a good sport and joining us on stage tonight, performing with us. Thank you. And we want to thank the Bremerton High School ROTC program for their color guard and for the volunteers who are helping us out tonight. And we really want to add a special thank you to our friends and our families, all of you, for coming out tonight, supporting us, and helping us to celebrate. Celebrating with us. We love you all. that I really needed, she pushed me to keep doing and keep getting better, which is why we're all saying thank you, Ms. Parker.
Are we good on mic? Yes, we can Beautiful. It's like video. Hello, everyone. Hello, Sue. My name is Brian Davis. I am an alumni at Burbank High School. I graduated in 2008. I took a cell class with Sue, my junior and senior years. Today, I'm on the Gallaudet campus in Washington, D.C. Unfortunately, I'm unable to be here in person. And it's been raining all day here. So I thought, where, where could I record this video? So I picked this room. The colors are Gallaudet School colors, buff and blue, which is similar to the Roman High School of colors, blue and gold. A perfect alma mater. Anyway, I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person with you all. I know you've been working hard preparing to host this event. Interpreting music and poetry requires a huge amount of time, but, in, but it's my favorite to interpret because it challenges and gives you the opportunity to really play with the language. I can't be there today because flights were outrageously expensive. So I thought I could send a virtual message and say hello and good luck and break a finger. <laughs> also, I'd like to thank Sue. I'm now interpreting full time um, for the federal government, Gallaudet, and around the community. The interpreting profess profession takes a lot of time, a lot about how it takes a village to quote raise an interpreter. Really, that means supporting, mentoring, educating someone to be successful. There are so many people in my village, but that really, my very first person in that village was none other than Sue Parker. She taught my first ASL class. She was the first person to teach me about Gallaudet, deaf culture, and so many other things. She was the person to expose me to so much about ASL. After graduating from Birmingham High School, I went to OC to leave the ASL club there. Sue and I were able to collaborate several times to host some events. I'm really proud of the work that we did there during that time, bringing CJ Jones and hosting the first public screening of the documentary, See What I'm Saying, several years ago. So thank you for your support over the years. I would like to say good luck on your next chapter, as well as wish for whatever the future has in store. And for the students, congratulations. This takes a lot of time and energy. You should be proud of yourselves. This will be a fantastic show. Enjoy yourself, everyone. Take care and go Knights. So a lot of the, uh, so people often think, some people in, in our school always thought that Ms. Parker is actually really kind of mean, so I tried to say that as nice as possible. But I actually think it's very admirable the way that she handles these, I'm just going to say it, jerks. Because <laughs> so, uh, they never really listen to her, they call her names, but I admire the way she's uh, handled these. and. And she's always willing to help us learn new words. Thank you.